let me let y'all in on a little secret. There is nothing that will piss off a liberal, black or white, than a black person who chooses to think for themselves. But before we get into that, my name is Greg Foreman and you're watching a black conservative perspective, AKA a liberal's worst nightmare. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can follow me on Twitter at GForemanBCP. And most importantly, share a black conservative perspective let's get it all right guys take a look at this interview between the panel of the view and kim klasik who is running for u.s house of representatives neighborhoods and so yeah i believe a coronavirus pandemic would affect us more i mean look at my campaign ad look at the living conditions that would affect us more absolutely that's why i'm running for office come on kim excuse me i have to say something to you he told bob woodward that it was a very serious issue and it's airborne and that it was terrible. And then he went out and told the American people, don't wear masks, it's all gonna go away. You have to put some blame on your president, I'm sorry. You're putting it on something extraneous here. Talk to the point, please. Is this, is this Joy speaking, the, the same lied. Joy? The same yes. Joy that yes. paraded around in blackface not too long ago? Come on, Joy, I don't think you should be That's asking not these true. questions. I am Excuse me. Excuse me, the black community had my back. They know that the that black was not blackface, has my that back. was an homage. Oh, please, the just answer the question. The black well. community has your back? The black yes. community has yes, your back? Yes, they do. Sonny, the yes. black community did Sonny, not tell vote them. for you. Well, the black you community know did not vote for you. What it was during a special election. On? Sonny, can I speak? What planet was during, are you living on? It was during a special wow. election while we were exactly. still under lockdown and wow. I cannot wow. talk to people. Can I speak or are you just going to scream over this me? This becomes a big... Listen, Be Kim, good luck to you. Thanks to Kim Clay. That was very we'll immature, right but Bye. thank you for having me. For you to basically chastise me about uh, what Trump has done for the black community, and especially coming from Joy Behar, I, th I thought, you know, you're number one, not in Baltimore. You don't live in one of these dangerous cities and you're not black. And so I just thought, you know, how could you basically tell me how I should be feeling in this situation? Um, I'm on the ground every single day. My team is out there seven days a week knocking doors. Uh, we register voters five days a week. And so I wanted to talk about all the great grassroots things we were doing uh, as Republicans. You know, and I talked about this in my RNC convention speech. Republicans usually write off the inner cities. And so I wanted to talk about the fact that we're actually providing an option for inner city communities and it just kind of went left guys how disrespectful is that you see how quickly joy the host of the view that was asking the question you see how quick she was get so mad and dismissive of miss Klasik when she wasn't answering the question in the way that she wanted her to answer the question joy you're giving the interview she's the interviewee she gave you the answer to the question that you wanted but see in joy's mind because kim is a black conservative she's already pissed off at her and she doesn't like her she doesn't like her because in joy's mind she believes that all black people are supposed to be liberal they're supposed to be democrats so when you see one that's not a democrat you automatically think less of that person she walked into this interview knowing that she was going to try to give kim a hard time she already knew in her head that she didn't like her and that she was going to try to embarrass her and have her say things that she didn't want to say now kim reacted in a way that is neither here nor there for me when she accused joy of blackface which here's a picture of joy in quote unquote blackface quite honestly guys i really don't give a shit about blackface i think it's stupid i mean i understand the history of it but honestly i don't give a damn if you want to run around here you know and look like a black person or dress up like a black person i really don't give a damn that's me personally that's neither here nor there but the way that Joy kind of conjures up the black community, the black community supported me doing blackface. They were behind me on that. And it's like, Joy, if this is the same black community that I know, they were not behind you on that. Because most people are going to be offended by something like that. Me personally, no. But most people are going to be offended. Or they're going to find a reason to be offended. But you see how she kind of uses them as a monolith? As I know how black people feel about it. I have the black community behind me. You're a black Republican, so you're a joke. I can't take you serious. And then the other host, I don't know her name, she really drives home that point. Ha! Huh. Nobody voted for you. No black person voted for you. Who can be black and vote for a Republican? As if there are no black Republicans that exist. As if Ben Carson doesn't exist, or Herman Cain, or Tim Scott, or Thomas Sowell, or Walter Williams. There's many 
black conservatives that are out here that are prominent and well educated and intelligent kim classic is just is another smart intelligent woman that has decided that she doesn't want to till the democrat plantation and you see how angry they get you see how mad they get they've even talked to black people in the party to get mad the white liberal has talked to black liberal to get mad when the black person don't want to till the democrat plantation anymore and i'm sorry for using these slavery comparisons i think they're person i think they're dumb and i think they're counterproductive to a certain extent but they're just easy to make because the liberals love to talk about slavery so you got to speak their language sometimes when you don't want to be a democrat when you want to have independence from the government when you want to be self-sufficient when you be self-reliant when you have high self-esteem when you think well about yourself enough that you can pull yourself up and be successful in this country the liberal who wants to keep you sucking on the government titty for the rest of your life gets upset because you no longer need them anymore the democratic party's relationship with black people is like a relationship of abuse you know the man that always tells you i love you babe and then the next day they beat the shit out of them and then after they finish beating the shit out of her they say oh remember i love you you can't find a better man than me remember those other men out there they not for you they don't love you as much as i do but he's beating his woman every other day that's the democrat party that's the democrat party and they get upset when you decide that i'm gonna get up and get out of this abusive relationship and i'm gonna try to find something else and you see how angry they get again it's like the abusive husband when a woman decides to walk away he go crazy he go for the kill that's the democrat party and you see it happens all the time they dismissed this woman off the jump she didn't have a chance when she went on this show they already knew they was gonna give her a hard time for being a black woman republican they hate it because you are no longer under their control and when they can't control you they hate you because you're not useful to them anymore when you're of no use to them they don't like you anymore all of a sudden women voices don't matter anymore all of a sudden it's okay to silence women if you're a black woman and you're conservative it's okay for you to be silenced now this is the view y'all supposed to be pro women pro women speaking their minds that's the whole point of the show but a woman comes on and speaks her mind and apparently because she's black and a conservative it's not okay that's a problem you want to get mad and upset and you want to dismiss her and try to belittle her as somebody that's below you or somebody really they really want to want to say you're not really black that's really what they want to tell her you're not black joy probably thinks she's blacker than her that's why she's running around trying to dress like an African woman. She thinks she's blacker than Kim. An actual black woman. I mean, this type of stuff burns me up, man, because this is why we can't go nowhere. This is why we can't make any progress. And we're afraid to think for ourselves because we sit here and we've listened to these liberals sweet talk us to sleep. Let, the, let us take care of you. You don't want to go over there with them. They're racist. The government can take care of you. I know what's best for you go out there and protest lose your money put yourself on the line you go out you do it but they wouldn't tell their kids to go out in the street and protest they wouldn't tell their kids to sacrifice their own money this is what the white liberal does this is what they do and then when you decide you know what i want to leave this abusive relationship they throw a fit and that host at the bottom sunny i think her name is she ought to be ashamed of herself because she really the one that tried to egg it on you try to dismiss this woman because she has different views than you as if she's less than you oh you're not really black that's what she really wanted to say black people don't support you well who are black people supposed to support then liberals so that's what makes you black you got to support liberals to be black you got to be a democrat to be black why how when the first black politicians were republicans most black people were republican up until the civil rights era the democrats think that just because they passed the civil rights act that the black vote is guaranteed for them that they ain't got to do nothing else they just got to sit and chill and keep us on welfare sucking the government titty and think that we ain't gonna go nowhere because republicans are quote-unquote racist but i'm telling you this country is waking up you cannot keep playing this race card because these people in baltimore are suffering from democrat policy people across the country are suffering from the democrat party and the welfare state policies that they pushed on the black community that has incentivized the woman to be married to the government and taking the black man out of the head of the household we have woken up to that and we will no longer allow ourselves to be subject to this mental slavery that the democrat party 
has tried to subject us to. But you just wait five, six years from now. You're going to wake up and there's going to be a major political realignment. And you're going to find that you need some more workers for your plantation. Because we're going to be gone. Let me know what you guys think. Was this interview disrespectful? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.